Remove all of the 8mm bolts that hold the CVT cover on. Pull the cover off. Next you gotta get your impact driver to remove the clutch. You need a 11 16 socket to get that nut off. Squeeze the clutch in. Be careful you don't pinch your fingers. Loosen the drain bolt. Because the tire is in the way, you're going to have to tilt this like this to catch the oil. Probably not much in there because it's leaking out through the gasket. Oh, that's bad. There's nothing in there. Thank goodness I don't drive this bike that much anymore, so there shouldn't be any damage to the gears. Get an 8mm socket and loosen up these bolts. You might have to tap the cover to get it to come off. It's been on here a long time. getting there be very careful because you don't want the gears to fall out and get dirt on them and plus you want to keep them in place so you don't mix them up. If you like the video give it a thumbs up so YouTube will show it to others. There's the inside of the cover. Not sure why the gasket failed, but it's leaking right around here on the bottom. See, there's no oil in there, which is bad. Like I said before, I don't drive the bike a lot anymore, so any damage should be minimal. And I'm looking, the gears look fine. I don't see any damage. So this looks pretty simple. There's two gears here, and then there's another gear down here, which the transmission turns, the CVT turns. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta clean 
the matting area really good so we can put the new gasket. Start to peel off the old gasket. Oh, this is fun. This gasket's on here really good, so this is going to be a nightmare to clean this off. Peel it off now. Get as much as you can off, and you're going to have to fine clean it. You can use a utility knife to clean this, but you have to be very careful not to cause any damage. Otherwise the gasket won't seal. As you carefully go over this with the razor knife, you're going to use either 1000 or 2000 sandpaper to polish up and remove any of the fine scratches. Then you're going to come over to the bike. Now you have to go around this and clean up any remaining gasket material around this area here especially. If you, can, if you can remember where the gears go, you can take them out if they're in the way. I'm going to take that big one out. You're going to use your sandpaper. Huh, the sandpaper is pretty much shot. Clean this up. This hose up here has given me issues before where rainwater would get inside and get into the oil in here. So since I got this open, I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna put some silicone. Put some silicone in here. See I did it before. Just put the silicone around this part here. Not on the flat part because the gasket's gonna go there. Get rid of any excess silicone.
put some around the hose too where the hose goes in it leaks there too put the gasket on You got the cover clean, put it back on. Now I'll put the bolts in and snug them up. You check it, see it spins. Good. Now if you got an older bike, you might want to put the additive in that softens up the crankshaft seals here. So that way you won't get any leaks there. Oh yeah, and see right here? It's a weird gasket, but you bend it and then see how it sticks out right there and up here. See the difference? The other one's just slightly longer. So down here, it gets a longer bolt. You can get an idea of how long the bolt is by going like this. See, that's kind of short. See up here? That's kind of short. You need the slightly longer one. See? That works. That's another way you can remember. Or you can color code them or whatever you want to do. Here it gets the, sh the shorter ones. Some of these bolt holes are for the CVT cover. It's a stupid design. This bolt, this hole down here is for the CVT cover. For one of these, for this, this long bolt here. This bolt goes in here. Actually, no, that gets a short bolt. One of the bolts disappeared, so I got to use this one that's slightly shorter. It's a Phillips head that I found. I don't know what happened to the bolt. Now you're going to tighten these incrementally, kind of in a crisscross pattern. You don't want to make them too tight because it's aluminum. It'll strip out. Get a 10 millimeter socket and loosen up the fill bolt. holes right here where you fill it up I have this little contraption here I made years ago stick it in here like this it's a pain and you have to hold it and you put a bunch of oil in there and it goes into the where the gears are but it takes a long time and then the only, the only way to know when this is full is the oil will start backing out of the hole then you just put the bolt back on and you're done I was going to use the syringe, but it fell inside the oil container, so it's gone. So, pretty boring, you just got to sit here until this goes in. And it starts coming out then you screw it back together I use the oil jug to hold it up 
you can make something like this or you can use a syringe and put a little tube on the end of the syringe and stick it in that hole and do that until it fills up it took me probably well it took me since I've had the bike to use one quart of this oil in the gearbox so this oil will last a long time See that? That means it's full. Put the bolt back in. Snug up the bolt. And you're done. Clean up any oil that might be dripping. That's how you can change the gasket on the gearbox on your scooter. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell and if you have any suggestions for a future video, leave a comment.